to me, right, guys, sound, if you ask me, I can tell you that sound is like a toy to me. You know, because we live in different uh, generation, different era. So now you have iPads. When I was young, I do not have all this. Okay, so I have to make my own toys. And one of the toys that I really like, right, is a speaker. Okay, it's a, it's a handmade speaker. So, guys, now you have this. Okay, you have a portable speaker. And it's actually very affordable. So all of you, maybe most of you have this, and then you can just plug it into your phone, and then you can amplify. Okay, then the whole room will be filled with music. But during my time, right, I cannot afford this. Okay, so what do I what do I do, right? Is that I take a bowl, guys. This bowl, right, is not just meant for your your dinner or meal. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna show you how this bowl can be used to amplify music. Okay, original with the bowl. Without, with, guys, can y'all see it? How this bow can act as a portable speaker, okay? But of course, you don't bring the bow around, lah. And I came, I came up with my own design. Okay, I take a, I take a paper bow and then I cut it. I cut a, a slit here so that I can slot in my phone. Okay, let's let's hear the the difference. Let me find my music. Yes, without, with. Without, you, you find that it actually amplifies. Of course, of course, I cannot get that type of amplification, amplification that I I get with this speaker. But I think it's good enough for a toy that you know I can I can make it on my own. So this this is the type of things that I play with in the 1990s. Okay, so it's it's quite different. So with this, okay, introduction about sound done. Huh? let's move on to. You know, how is sound being produced? 